Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and I'm excited to be with you here today on Fun Friday. And the horse I'm riding this morning is Rio. And Rio is, a, I believe he's a four-year-old, uh, I hope I'm not wrong on that, a four-year-old Tennessee walker. He's a paint Tennessee walker. And he came to me out of Tucson, and he's a horse that came to me for a tune-up so that he could get ready to sell sell. So he is he is going to be for sale in probably in the next few weeks, and he's a he's a great, really good-minded horse, a really forward-moving horse, but he can also move slowly, and he's going to be an excellent horse. He's a beautiful color and just gorgeous to watch as as people ride him or as I ride him and as he moves out. He's just a really pretty horse, so he's going to make somebody a really nice horse. If you guys know anybody that's looking for a Tennessee Walker that's got a nice smooth gait and is going to going to have a, a bright future. You don't have to look any further than Mr. Rio here. And uh, today for Fun Friday, I want to tell you guys a little joke. And oh, before I for, before I do that, I want to say that I hope you do something really fun this weekend. Hope you get out and enjoy yourself. And, and right now I'm creating the exercise program for the Lady Horse Boss uh, business that, that my wife has. And the exercises are pertaining to horseback riding and horse training and working with your horse on the ground and and riding your horse and so if you guys are uh, that that's going to be available in the next couple of months once we start once we um we launch that business and if you haven't if you haven't liked a, a lady horse boss on on facebook or instagram make sure to do that make sure to follow on instagram at lady horse boss and also like a lady horse boss on facebook there's a lot of great stuff that's coming up on lady horse boss so if you guys haven't done that do that make sure to do that and today for fun friday this evening uh, stacy and i we're, we've got a hot date we try to make a make it a point to have a date every every friday and we're not per, we're not the perfect couple and i don't think anybody is the perfect couple uh, but we we are trying and we're we're really challenging ourselves to improve our relationship and one of the things that we're doing is is going out on on dates every friday night and tonight we're gonna go and play some basketball and it's actually just right side of our house we have a basketball a small basketball court with a hoop that's a nice 10 foot hoop and so we're gonna play for about an hour or so and i'm really excited about that you know basketball was my thing back in high school i used to i went to the i, I played on the all-state team at, in colorado um, I was I was pretty good in high school, and Stacy Stacy played basketball as well, and that's that's her probably her favorite thing to do besides um, besides playing volleyball and riding horses. And um, so t so if you my point my point is is do something that you really love to do. If you have a hard time getting out and exercising, getting out and moving your body, and starting to lose that weight that you've been wanting to lose for years and years or months and months, whatever it is, it's probably been a while since you've been out and exercised. Well, one of the best ways to do it is to find a way to motivate yourself by doing something that you really enjoy. And one thing that I really enjoy is uh, is playing basketball. So we're going to be doing that. And I hope you guys get out and do something fun and exercise this weekend as well. And to, and for the, the joke that I wanted to tell you, it has to do with a preacher. And this preacher, he grew up in Texas and he, and he, he grew to be one of the greatest evangelists that Texas has ever known. And he was, he was known for throughout all the land as being a, an incredible evangelist. And he preached the word of God and preached, preached the Bible and was just an excellent preacher and helped a lot of people change their lives. And um, he went to a town in Texas and he decided he was going to have uh, an hour, an hour sermon. And so he, he sent out a proclamation throughout the, the town that he was going to have this hour sermon. He set up a tent, set up his podium, and he waited for people to show up. And, and he was supposed to start at 8 a.m. Well, about 7.45 a.m. came around and nobody had showed up yet. And he thought that was a little bit odd. And then 8 o'clock came around and nobody still had shown up. And about 8.15, uh, an old cowboy with an old dirty hat and dirty boots walked in and sat down on the front row. And so the preacher walked down to, to this old cowboy and he said, I apologize, sir, for, for what's going on here. I, I'm not sure why there's, there's nobody that's come to listen to my sermon but you. And um, I don't know what to do here in this situation. And the cowboy looked at him and he said, well, I'm no preacher, sir. But if, if I were to go out and feed my cattle and only one of my cows came up to eat, I would at least feed that cow. And so the preacher thought about it a second and he felt really inspired and motivated by this cowboy. So he jumped up on the podium 
and got in front of the pulpit and started preaching a sermon. And he preached for a good hour is what the cowboy was uh, expecting to hear. And then he just kept going. He preached for another 15 minutes, another 30 minutes. Before he knew it, it was over two hours long. And he finally finished, finally finished his, his sermon and he, he, he stepped down off the podium and he went to the cowboy and he said, well, what did you think of my sermon? And the cowboy said, well, I'm no preacher, so I can't really, I can't really advise you on that. But I'll tell you this, if I went out to feed one cow, I certainly wouldn't dump the whole load on her. Uh, I hope you guys hope you guys have a have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Always be thankful. Live with purpose. Live with passion. And as always, stay safe in the saddle.